out there welcome back to the bench and today we're finally going to get to the chroma air test uh, I ordered these from uh, spray gunner and um, I ordered a variety of colors a lot of them are out of stock but I think as of now today most of them are back in stock as a matter of fact they have a whole new lineup of colors too but let's go ahead and see what colors we have here cold white opaque black opaque Warm white opaque. Here we go. Fluorescent aqua. Shift hands here. All right. Banana na opaque. <laughs> Whatever that is. Pure purple opaque. Very red trans transparent. Dijon Yellow Opaque, Opaque Rock Lobster, Another Green Transparent, Almost Blue, and these are the same sizes but they come in these smaller stout bottles, I don't know why, but I believe it's the same two ounces. Absolute Blue Opaque. Gray, gray, opaque. Coming up with these names. Complicated blue, opaque. And this is my Wicked Colors 412 Thinner. And the reason that's here is because, let's get one that's easy to read. Here we go. They're an acrylic urethane. So that's great. I do like urethane paints. That's what I had when I did my uh, car model, when I did the auto, the actual auto colors from the auto paint store. They're mostly urethane today. They're really durable, and it's made for hard surfaces, which is perfect for models. It's a permanent automotive grade base coat. See, urethane very popular with uh, automotives today. And uh, but for outside use, put a clear coat. So I guess you could put the 2K clear over it for out outdoor use if you're gonna work it on your car. Now, alcohol, water, or special thinner may be used. Uh, according to the website, alcohol should only be used if you're spraying small parts. I guess if you're doing big areas, it must break down or something. But they recommend alcohol only for tiny areas. And water, of course, you know, in, in general, a special thinner. Now, the website says they actually recommend this. Um, the Wicked Creatix Colors 412 uh, Thinner. So um, we'll, we'll thin it with this. Now, it also says no thinning required in a 5 millimeter needle, which is what my uh, PS290 here is, my Creos. So what we're going to do is, right off the bat, we're going to just shake her up and put it directly in this and see how it goes. We're going to put it over regular plastic and put it over some primer. Um, but if it doesn't go well, I'll end up thinning it. If it goes well, maybe we don't even have to thin it. But I will thin some and try it in my smaller 4 or 3 Procon. And uh, so you guys, if you don't have a big needle, airbrush. That way you can see the difference if I thin it. So we're going to try and thin some anyway. Um, I'll pick some random colors. I'll do some off camera. I'll do some on camera at the end We'll go through and see what they look like. I might not get to all of these, but we'll try a wide uh, selection of these and uh, That's it. Well, I'm not going to show thinning it Just yet. We're going to test it in this airbrush first We're going to go with the five and see how it works and then uh, I will thin one anyway And we'll show you uh, the thinning ratio that we're going to use anyway Let's head over to the booth. Let's go with this one first and I'll pick a random color here and see how it works. All right, guys, here we are at the booth. Uh, we're going to try the uh, purple, pure purple opaque. We're going to put it straight in the cup. I'm going to show you I'm putting it straight in the cup by uh, doing it right in front of the camera. I shook it up good. The other one seemed to have a, a shaker inside it. I can't hear one in this one at all. But um, it's, I don't know if it's too thick. We're going to find out. The whole purpose is to see if this stuff sprays directly, you know? through the airbrush of this size it looks way too thick that's my opinion all right let's close this off hold on always wipe off the tops look how much you get on there but anyway I don't think this is going to work but hey stranger things have happened I don't see anything coming out I'm going to put up to 30. 
got my new uh, air compressor, but, oh, well, there it goes. Let's see what we got. White primered spoon. Seems to be struggling. Yeah, it's it's not coming out even, guys. It's it's like spitting out. See it? And this is why I wanted to do it. I think you're gonna need a much bigger nozzle. I mean, I'm gonna finish the job with this. I'm gonna keep going with what they said to do. A five needle, straight. I'm putting it in because it looks like I'm already running out. All right, let's try it again. Now we gotta wipe the top with one hand. Look at this. Yeah, there we go. All right. Well, I gave it some time to dry. I guess it'll work. I, a, a seven needle, I think, would be perfect. But I, I know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the same color thinned out. It's just it's too inconsistent. It's just not coming out. It's struggling. Look how thick it is. I knew it was too thick. I am just forcing this thing through. Not even a good texture, too. I mean, the color is beautiful. All right, I'm going to thin this out. I'm going to put this up here. Let me thin this. So, and I'm going to go in the smaller needle, and we're going to see the difference thinned out. Same color. All right, guys, I'm back. I thinned it out about 20% with the 412, you know, uh, 10 drops to like four drops or even three drops. But uh, I eyed it. I made it not quite as watery as I would normal uh, acrylics. We're going to go with the... Uh, Hold on, guys, and I'll lower the air pressure a little bit. I'm going to go with the uh, single action. Already better. You can see the consistency there. All right, let's try it again over the same spoon, a white spoon. Now, when, when you use these uh, single actions, make sure you're starting off the piece. Goes on nice, much better thinned out. I knew it had to be thinned, uh, but I, I I wanted to try it per their website. You know, I just wanted to try it that way. Now, if you want to, it's tough when you got a single action. You got to turn it all the way in just to get air. If you're going to do my drying technique with a single action, so it's a pain. But I, it's a new airbrush, and I wanted to test it on this, see how it worked. I'll even try it in the small airbrush, the three uh, millimeter that I have right after this. But it's drying off nice. Very durable paint, too. The urethanes are usually pretty durable. I'll turn this back out a bit. A little more paint. It's a nice purple, that's for sure. Looks like it's gripping now, so I'm going to go ahead and put on the final coat here. Looking good. All right, I'll let this dry along with the other one. Look at the difference when I sprayed it direct. Wow. There's a difference in color, that's for sure. All right, let me let this dry, guys. We'll go on to the next one, and I'll even try uh, my other airbrush. We'll put it in the in my 270. We'll try it in this one next. Oop. All right, guys, let's go ahead. We're going to do the black. I changed to my uh, Procon PS270 with a 3 needle. Um, let's try it on a gray primer. Why not? Oh. Well, it comes out of this pretty easy. Now with this airbrush, I can go ahead and do my technique of uh, drying it, as you can see. It's just air, and we're going to dry her off. 
I might have to turn it up too high because I had it for the other oh, airbrush, but see how it's, it's matting? It's getting matte already. This is almost fully dry. It dries really quick. I'm still going to put it in the dehydrator, but it dries really quick. Now, we can also, because I can cut the air down on my, my airbrush on the handle here, too. But that looks good for the next coat. Now, um, I'm going to do it one more time with the air dry. Just air. Usually with acrylics, I do like to go with a dual action so I can, you know, physically do this. The last coat I'm going to put on, I'm going to leave it at a, at a, at a high shine. It's, it's semi-dried, see it? It's a little rough. But the last coat should really do it for us. It's a good-sized bottle, and once you thin it, it looks like you're going to go a long way. There we go. Look at that. A little bit of dust, but I think that might be my fault. Anyway, it looks good. All right. Let's do a couple more colors and look at the results. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm cleaning this with hot water. My hot water technique, I brewed some in my Keurig, and I'm just cleaning out the brush quick with that. All right, guys, next up is the, the banana, opaque. Uh, with a brighter color, I like to go over a white primer. And uh, on this one, too, we're going to see how it sticks to a plain spoon with no primer at all. Very pigment rich. It, it, it goes on really dense right away. A very, uh, very the opaques are very good. I'll try the transparent after this to see the difference. But I'm gonna air dry it. Actually, we can let that dry on its own and try it on this bare plastic and see what we get. Let that sit. Go back to the primer. I know some of these are flat, matte colored, and I know some are, are gloss. I'm hoping the black is gloss. They don't tell you at all. I, I only found out because I was uh, testing it. I'm not going to flash dry it because I'm doing two at once. I'll let it dry on its own there. Seems to stick to the plastic all right. I figured that. Alright, we're going to go in with this final coat here. It, it covered really good. Really good. The feature of this is it's really durable. Alright, let's try it on this bare plastic. It covers really good. It, uh, no problem at all. Impressive so far. Excellent. All right. Let's try a couple more colors, and then we'll wrap this up. All right, guys. I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to thin it. That's how much I got in the cup. Not too much. Maybe 10 drops. So uh, I've been using my eye, but I've been doing this for so long. That's all you need to do. But uh, I'll show you what you put in. Just, I'm just going by, I'm sprinkling a little bit. That's it. You know, like five, six drops. See it? It's hard to see on the camera the way I got it positioned. Let's go ahead and mix it up because it is like wallpaper paste. It's so thick. See, even I think this is too thick. It's a transparent, so you, you can't break these down too much. I think this is a transparent. Yeah, another green transparent. So we're going to put this over a white. Um... But, I don't know if I want to break it down much more than that. See it on the side? 
it's sticking. It's not really running down. However, I think this is good because it is a transparent. I don't want to go any further. So let's put this in the brush. Let's see what we get. Let's try this over white. Yeah, it was thin enough. Now a transparent, you can't load this up. Unfortunately, you gotta have to go my slow method here of uh, air drying it. But the results are uh, are worth it. The overhead lights a little strong. I'm building a new booth, guys. With uh, I'm gonna have LED lights inside the booth here, so I think it'll be a little better, camera-wise, for you guys to see how it's going. All right, we're gonna go in with the paint. All right, we'll stop there. We're gonna go in. Just the air again. dries pretty quick. I do like these urethanes. Alright, let's go in again. I like to come in a little closer when I'm getting towards the end of my uh, final coat. Again, a transparent. I'm gonna I'm gonna air dry this one more time, so I'm gonna do with the air dry at least three times. And then we're gonna nail in the last coat. Fluorescents are usually matte, that's for sure. My compressor only seems to go off when I'm holding the trigger down for about a minute. But it keeps the tank full at exact, the exact air pressure that I want. It's a great compressor. One of the best I've owned in a while. And at this point, I think you should have good adhesion. And you should be able to come in with the final coat. There you go. All right? Terrific. All right, guys, let me grab one or two more colors, and then we'll wrap it up. All right, guys, we're going in with almost blue. I like these lighter blue turquoise colors. I just, uh, it's a color I happen to like. Looks like a dirty spoon. Let's not use that one. These are Primate Spoon, by the way. Another dirty spoon. Let's pull this off. There we go. All right. Got a good one. All right, too much air in this. It's a really light color. All right, here we go. Now we gotta blow this off for sure. I don't think this is a transparent. Doesn't say. Nice color though. All right, we're gonna go in with just air again. How many more coats of this? Because it, it really, it's a light color as it is. There we go, it's sort of semi-gloss now, which means we're dry. All right, we're gonna go in a little closer on the final coat. And that's it. Beautiful. This stuff sprays good. Let's do one more color, wrap this up. All right, guys, this one we will try, the Very Red Transparent. 
Obviously with that I'm going to try a white spoon. Was pretty good. Let's try that off. You can see it where it's it's pooling a little bit. See it in the in the crevice. But it's not doing. It's not running at all. It seems just to be the air seems to be gathering right there and catching it. Right, that's dry. See, we're just doing the dry. Now this isn't clear, you know, it's it's transparent, it's not candy, you know. I'm going to have a different tone. I'm going to spray the other red too, to compare the two. Let's hit this again with the just air. It goes on nice though, I didn't thin it as much. Ten drops to three, 70, 30, you can tell. Definitely, you can't use a smaller needle than a three, though. There we go. It's starting to catch now. Beautiful. A very nice red. There we go. That's a beauty. Whoa, that looks good. All right, let's wrap this up. I did a few colors off camera, so I have even more colors to show you than what we practiced here, and uh, we'll compare them all. We'll see you at the bench. All right, guys, here we are back at the bench, and the results are in, and they're good. Um, I sprayed a few colors you guys didn't see off camera. Uh, that's why you're seeing a few more here. But uh, we'll start with... Um, we're going to start with this one because this is the one we tried to do it undiluted, un, you know, not thinned. And it looked rough when I was painting it. Now, don't forget, they said you can spray this out of a 5 or larger millimeter needle undiluted. So I have a 5 and I tried it. It struggled coming out. Maybe I had to turn the air up past 30 PSI. I don't know. But this is an automotive, automotive grade um, paint, which tells me... And they were saying undiluted, it probably goes well in a, a spray gun for a car, which is a 0.7 or larger. And I think if you have a large needle like that, it'll be fine. That being said, it, it ended up really nice. Really nice. It's durable. Let's try a tape while we're doing it. We'll do this now. It's super durable. It's, um, you could just feel it. But a, a urethane usually is, you know, durable. The tape broke before the paint even came off. Look at that. So it's great. Now, here's the problem. Look at it when I uh, diluted it and did it over primer. It's a completely separate tone and it's matte. Look at that. You know, it's still good. It's still durable. And a lot of it's matte anyway. These are Most, most of them are matte. But I don't, you can see the difference in spraying it straight. Now, I guess if I went a, a few more coats, it would have looked like this, probably. But this is it. If you guys have a, a 5 or a larger needle, this is it undiluted. And uh, I kind of like it. But the others you're going to see are really nice. So the difference here is, uh, is really astonishing to me. I don't know why. But I think it needed another layer because I thinned it, you know, with the 4012 from Createx. And this is out of the 4 needle. This was the 5. Anyway, let's go through the rest. Let's go through the rest. All right. This is complicated blue opaque this one i did off camera look at that it's a semi-gloss I, I guess you could say it's really durable this is one of the first ones i was testing off camera with my fingernail and it's not going anywhere if you guys uh, want to consider these for your gundams go for it because it is super tough this is another one i did off camera opaque rock lobster now, I practice on one of these. I wrote it down earlier in the week, and that's why it has a different spoon for my test spoon, but uh, it didn't matter. They're both identical. Isn't that a great red? That's a great red. I mean, that's pretty matte. And I've tried it in two separate days 
spraying this and as you can see the two different spoons and um, it came out exactly the same so this is probably exactly how this paint is to look but I love this red rock lops is a great red here's another one I did off camera this is uh, fluorescent aqua it has a nice glow to it not quite fluorescent like we think of but it really does as far as the, the green goes it's much brighter in person I wish you could tell All right, showed you the purple. Let's go to black. Now, black is unique also. Now, black, <clears throat> this is it over the plastic. I brought it down, and this is it over the primer. Now, the primer came out dull. Can you see it? It's got a texture. It's still kind of smooth, but it has a, a dullness to it that I don't like. Whereas over the plastic, it came out great. And this is, it's not scratching. Uh, this is good stuff. I, I dried this in the dehydrator at 96 degrees or 98 degrees for one hour. And uh, these are fully cured, fully cured. So black, I would easily go over the plastic, no primer at all. All right, next up. The banana, nah, I don't know what the extra nah is. Opaque, now here's both plastic and primer. Now this came out fine over the primer. And this is it over plastic. I wrote it so I would know. And you can just see it. In person, there's a slight difference, but texture-wise, it's it's about identical. It's it's strong. It's not leaving any mark. I've been scratching it, and how that is nice. But it's matte. It is a matte. Sorry about the arm reaching across, guys. This is another green transparent. Very nice. Look at that tone to that. Look at that. Now to compare it to the fluorescent. There you go. I mean, those are two completely different colors, for sure. The only thing in common is the word green. All right. Here's a color I like. I like these turquoise blues, sky blues. I, I just uh, have a, a liking to these colors. This is almost blue. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh, much darker than the, the bottle. But I do like this color. Well, it's close there. And the last one. This one is very red transparent. Look at that. I don't remember. Was this over a primer? I don't recall now. i got to go back and watch the video. But let's compare it to Rock Lobster. See the difference? You can almost do a two-tone kit with this. Like this is Zabi in two tones. You know? Really nice. The transparents always seem to have a bit of a shine. <clears throat> Just so you guys can see the tonal difference in this stuff. Look at this. Anyway, let's put this back with Rock Lobster. And those are the colors that I tested. There's no now the only problem I have with the paint is the lineup. There's not a lot to choose from. You see when you go on, there's a lot of fluorescents, which they were out of stock, but I think they have them back in now. And they have a whole new lineup of colors. There's a there's a, a lot of purple shades now and pinks that just came in. And I think there's a, a kind of a blue that I like, more of a turquoise. They just came in after I was started this test. So uh when you guys go to the site, I got these at Spray Gunner. Um I recommend them. I like them. They're around four change a bottle. Look at the size of it. And if you thin them like I was doing, you're probably going to double this bottle up just about at four bucks. It's a bargain. It really is a bargain. And they're really durable, particularly if you're going to use them for your gumpla. And uh, you don't forget, you get, you get the basic whites, the black, you know. And there's a few blues to choose from, too. I even have this gray, which probably looks good overall in a kit. And I'm not sure why the bottles are different sizes, but anyway. Uh, get them at Spray Gunner. Use the link below when you go to uh, the, to buy them, and you'll see, uh, just pick Chroma Air on the site, and they have the full selection to choose from. And uh, I think they're pretty good paints. They're worth having, particularly at the price point. You can get a whole bunch for not much money. And um, that is my opinion. Now, you can thin them with anything. I happen to have this. You could probably use any thinner, the Vallejo thinner. It said water. <clears throat> so you can use anything. But that's the test for today, guys. I got a bunch more tests coming up. I'm still building up the uh, inventory of primers 
And uh, Spray Gun has sent me a whole bunch of stuff to test. I got uh, ammo by Meg, uh, all new products from them. I got their one shot primers to test, and a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I just got this in. This took a while for uh, Hobby Lobby to get these back in. It's the foil metallic silver from Krylon. It supposedly has that nice look. I know I like the gold and the copper a lot. So I'll be testing this soon. I might put this up as a quick test. You know, just to throw it up there. And I got a bunch of new kits in and some more new tools. So we will be seeing you soon. Probably uh, over the weekend we'll have another video up. And I'm trying to get the primer test going. It's for a spray paint primer. There's a lot of them for me to order. And it's going to be a big video. And that's why I broke it down into the spray and then into this uh, airbrush type. So it, it, the video would be just too long. So we're going to start with the spray paints. And from there, we'll uh, separate it down. I think I'm going to do, there's a brand new lineup from Spray Gunner. They're going to get me a new lineup of Titan Ammo by MIG primers in the spray can. All kinds of colors, greens. And I might test those separate from the rest because it's a whole lineup of colors. And I was pretty excited to see that. They just came. They weren't coming to America, and they just came to America this week. Even the website in Europe says not available in the U.S. But I'm getting them, and I'm going to have them in soon. All right, guys. I talked too much. Anyway, great lineup of paints. Go grab these uh, Chroma Airs. Uh, highly recommended. They airbrush good. They dry durable. And they're super cheap. Worth having in your on your bench for sure. Anyway, guys. Like the video. Subscribe below if you haven't already. And we'll see you in the next video.